lights ahead of the drivers here in Jeddah to finalise round three. It's Teshubi on poles and Laggy right beside him on the front row. The lights are out. We are racing here in Jeddah. Good start by Teshubi. Good start by Zalagi. Good pretty easy going into the first quarter. But look at Jacob going around the outside turn one. Locks the rear spines. And I think a bit of ghosting there as well. It looks like Tanner's had to kind of dodge it. Things has gone flying into the air. And I think he's kept it on track there still. Drops down to B14. Teshubi and Zalagi. Then, um, then Jacob. Then Tano up to B4. Never rescue. Right behind him. Only one up in qualifying. But he's right there pretending in the race. Tano getting a little bit squirmy going through turn five. That's going to allow Neb to be right on the back of his gearbox. That was so close to 30 air. Pushing him a little bit wide. Can Smithy look for an opening? Trying to sneak his way through, but can't quite fit his nose down the inside of a gap. And the order stays pretty much similar. As a, oh, look, that's a, I see you trying to get down the inside. Obviously, move a pace in position in quarter, but, um, so far from the start of position. Battery on, up to P8. Good start for the, uh, for the, for the McLaren. There we go. Tano's gone, already gone for it on there. Oh! Ned's trying to go on the outside of Tano. Bit of contact, yeah. Slippy's pushed his way through as well. Here comes Jordan as well. The new signing from Red Bull, using the Cynic Spring, gets past, uh, gets past Tano. Get her flags at the front and all oh, at the back as, as Atom and Sneak. And it looks like Jake Snowy got damaged in that one as well. Both have to stay in the back of the pack. Not great for the team that's hoping to uh, get P2 in the OCC after the end of this weekend. Get a flag, so that's Tano. Oh. Is that is that turn four? Let's find out. Uh, it was not turn four. Oh. No. It was... I think it's in the inside of turn five, actually. Is it the inside of where the corner goes back? Back right, that's about the safety car. As the Jacob goes on the inside, DRS and the clutch came to the lead. Uh, will Neb look to the move down the inside? Smithy, yes, he will. Down the inside he goes. And I think, look at that, you can see, I see he's for a very late move on the inside of, um, of Jordan there. I think he may have clipped with, uh, with big power as well. That's pushed him back one and two. And I think Benedict might have a little he's look around the inside. Damage. He's got wing damage. Who? I see you. Oh, you're right. Well, what a track to get wing, wing damage. This is not the best place to go. And you can see Benigny is right on his tail, forcing him through this first sector. You can see he's so much quicker than the Alpine from the McLaren here. And actually, Benigny's got damage too. He's missing an M play too. Uh, I think Reese is trying to force his way through. Got through one, got through two, and here comes the season one champion. Later on the brakes, so and he's got two positions. But if you go for the outside, uh, on the restroom, back to Alex, playing with GRS Chicken. I think Jordan trying to stick his nose down the inside of the other Aston Martin as well. Now having to go defensive, now it's about the slipstream, now it's about the straight line speed going down towards turn one. And I think he's going to win this one out with the DRS. So will Jordan, and I think Powell's going to get past his teammate as well. Neb might be a double here. Can Jordan get nothing inside of Neb? I think he backs out a bit, locks his front wheels a little bit. And that's going to allow Powell to try to um, defend the inside line. Very, very slippery on the curve there by uh, by Neb. I think this just stays the same. That was close. I think he's going to look for a move on Raven. We're on the same strategy as they may as well. Trying to stick his nose down the inside before the final corner. Using the Aston Martin as a, as a wall. Raven hanging around the outside. Bit of contact on the uh, on the outside wall of 27. Uh, once again, it's a drag race going towards turn one. Who's got the speed? Reese taking up a lot of the space. Raven's going to be forced to the outside going towards the chicane. Is he got the room to do it? Uh, Reese backs out. Raven almost forcing to move down the inside of the Aston Martin. Who has to cut the corner? Raven, can he put the power on? It's going to be a battle on the throttle. Can't quite do it. I think Zinx is going to with uh, Reese here. Going towards turn four. Who's going to win this one out? Reese backs out. Really good racecraft there by Reese. Knew that was another corner. You should be going to Willa. And here comes Raven once oh, it's, again. It's so satisfying to watch these these races. Isn't it? Yeah. How close they can keep it and just you know, make very minimal mistakes. It's, it's amazing to watch. Raven with the battery on. Goes around the outside of Pow. Still just about will to will. Can Pow defend it? Force turn 16. No, he can't. Raven is up to P7. Oh, what a spin for Jordan! And good, good reflexes there by Raven. He straight away got out of the way. Going to switch to the front. As Pau goes to the inside, Raven built one by goodness, Raven down the inside of Sinks. That was a huge dive from Raven. And he's back to the seat of the position and he's also lost on Therese as well. That was a huge dive from Raven. And oh, what's up there? I think Sinks has got issues. Uh, uh, there's Jacob. Will he get the undercut? And by how much? He might not even get the undercut. Quickest lap there uh, by the Ferrari. There you can see on the right hand side of your screen, are, well, as I can, is uh, the drivers coming up the pits. And through he goes into turn one. BRC Jacob takes the net lead of the race, meaning it is, technically speaking, a Ferrari 1-2. And Powell's going, in, Powell's going into the wall somewhere. Ooh. It's a safety car, a motion safety car. Where is Powell? Is it turn four again? I'll have a guess. Oh. Very sorry, it's TP4. I don't think he'll get out of the pits in time, but here we go. Raven S2 does head into the pits. Will it be a free... Well, I would say free stop, but it will be a... be careful on the exit. Shades off white. Over half usually. Like 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah. It's, st it's still yellow flags. This could be really good for Raven. And then we go green flags enable once again everyone back to racing speed. Where is Raven? What's going to come out? Because he was originally 
buying Reese, and I mean, he should have got the undercut. He, is he going to go up P4? Is he, is he going to be miles ahead of Smithy? Here we go, we're going to watch as he comes to the exit of the pit lane. There's Smithy on, softs. on the other side of your screen. He has gone for the softs, he's gone for aggressive. He's going to come up P4. And Raven West is out of the pits of P4. What a strategy, man. And he's miles ahead. <laughs> and he is outside the DRS, uh, DRS range as well. Soft for 11 laps is okay. going to be tricky. As Wizzy getting down the other side of I see you. And yeah, the Hass is here. Come, look, here comes Jordan. In the background. Jordan trying to get around the outside. Gets one Hass. Can he go later on the brakes? Get the other one. Sweeps around the outside. Big dive there by Sleek. Going to defend him. Red Bull versus Hass versus Hass. There's a huge sandwich going on. They're still staying through abreast. Going towards turn four. But look at that. Jordan fights his way through. And good move there by the Red Bull. Oh, oh look at that. Feeds with the top rear end of Sleek. And that's going to be a, presumably a 5 second penalty for, for FIFA's. Jacob is not going to be able to hold that gap at the rate he is right now. Teshubi and Zagi will be introduced back to the battle for P1. Battery on for Teshubi. He's not got much left. Hot lap on for Jacob. Holding that P2 spot. Here comes Zagi down the other side. And that will propel uh, it's a Zagi 3. And there is the gap under one second. Zagi is in contention for his first win in XRS. Three seasons in. Could this be the day? And heading towards turn one, where will the moves be? <laughs> Beavers gets another penalty, not helping his battle for the Hasses. Here comes the laggy, round the outside, and on the DRS straight, takes the lead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Teshub is going to follow him through, and down the inside, Jacob is demoted to P3. I don't think he's got the tyres to battle, but he will, I assume, try and hold on. Try and go for the striking move at the end. He's got, uh, he's got more battery. Teshub is going to go for it anyway. He's got none on. He's got his none battery on. Uh, here comes Tashubi going around the outside. Jacob's approaching with a lot more speed, trying to go around the outside. As Tashubi around the outside of the final corner. Still going well to floor with the Salva. Who's going to be quicker on the battery. Overtake mode on for Tashubi. He's, I think, going to take the lead. But I think the Salva's still firing it. It's going to be Zalagi and Tashubi. Drag race gun towards turn one. Neither of them got DRS, but Jacob did. Could Jacob try and involve himself in this fight? I don't think he can. He's trying to get around the outside of Tashubi, but couldn't there. Zalagi holds the lead. This, gets past this is what Jacob well. wants. He wants him to fight. He can stay behind. He can save his DRS. If he has the most DRS going to the final lap. He can just use it and he'll get it. Um, yeah, yeah. That's, that's something I did on the, on the final of the two ahead of the battle. And I saved my ERS and I managed to get past both of them. So it's not impossible. This might be difficult for the Salva to defend. Here we go. Round. Turn 22 for the final time. There should be battery on. DRS are back to be active. He's right on the tail of Zalagi. He might be in trouble here. The Salva holds the inside. Teshubi breezes around the outside. Where's Jacob? He falls to the outside as well. He's going to get the DRS. I think Zalagi's going to try and dive into the fence. Teshubi around the final corner. Who I believe will win the race. Zalagi very slippery on the exit. I, I think Jacob's got the better exit. Teshubi wins the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Zalagi holds on and he's going to get P2 on the line. Jacob just missing out. He's in the battle behind. It's going to be Smithy versus Reese, who have been tangling all this race. Bit of contact Ooh, and the collide. Raven. Raven goes through. Raven up to P4. And I think Reese is going to get P5. Smithy has the self P6 unless Neb could get him on the line. Not quite, but it was close. Goodness me, Wizzy holds on to P8. Zinx couldn't quite contend. What a race by Wizzy, by the way. From almost last up to P8. Really, really solid drive in Saudi Arabia. Jordan takes the top 10. I don't know with pens because I haven't got them up. Uh, I think Sleek is going to shoot up the order yet yeah, without pens. FIFA stays in P13. Couldn't get past the uh, the Haas defense. I see only P14. 